Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to do iris folding. Iris folding is called that because the paper looks like an iris on a camera that opens and closes. First you need to start with some strips of paper. These are one and a quarter inch wide, but you have changed the size depending on which project you're doing. You can find the paper in a craft store. You can use any kind of paper you want. This one I found on the internet. You can print off lots of free patterned paper there. You need some cardstock paper and two copies of your pattern. This pattern was found on a website where you can download free iris folding papers and it's in the description box. Then you take your pattern, you cut it out and then put it on your piece of cardstock and trace around. I've marked the, the back of it with the letter B because that's where you're going to be taping everything. And you want to remember which side you're on. Then you're going to cut out the heart. The website I just told you about has some um, pattern paper you can print out. It also has a lot of tea bag folding tiles that I've already blogged about. And it has a whole bunch of paper crafts on it. It's a very, uh, very good site. So you cut out your heart shape. Then you take the other pattern and you're going to put the heart shape over top and then you're going to tape it down. The best kind of tape to use here would be masking tape, however I didn't have any so I just used scotch tape. You're going to tape it down so it doesn't move. Then you're going to take your strips of paper and you're going to fold them over. I'm using recycled uh, printer paper here, that's why there's writing on the back. Fold all the strips of paper, then take your pattern. Now you'll notice the pattern guide has three colors, A, B, and C, and there's numbers associated with each color. So you're going to assign one color of paper to each letter. And it may help here if you take little strips of paper and glue them on there to, to remind you which letter goes with, with each color. And the, you'll notice the patterns are numbered from 1 to 17 on this particular one. Number 1, right there, says it goes with color A. And color A is this color. So you take, <clears throat> starting from 1, which is on the outside, you, you take your folded strip of paper and you take the top of the fold, where it's creased over top, and that goes in the center, and that's the part you're going to see. And then tape it down. I suggest you cut it to fit the shape of the heart, so that you don't have these long overlapping pieces like I did, and then it saves you the trouble of cutting them afterwards. And then you just keep following the numbers, and following the pattern. The pattern will tell you which number belongs to which color, and you just keep, you just keep taping them on until you get to the center. overlapping each piece. There we go, putting the last piece on. And you'll notice there's a, going to be a hole in the middle and they call it an iris and you can put anything you want in there. You can put a, a contrasting piece of paper or a piece of the original card, the cardstock in there. Some of them even put little pieces of foil or some jewels or something sparkly put whatever you want in the center. And we're taping the final pieces. You'll notice I cut the ones in the center when I realized it was easier to just, just cut the pieces of paper to fit. And then you're going to gently peel it off. And then you're going to cut the excess. And when you turn it over, you get your finished pattern. There we are. And you, you'll notice the hole in the center. I actually put a white piece of paper with some little silver dots on it on this one here. And you know this you can use in card making or in scrapbooking. And here is a boot that I made using some paper, some color of purple. And the frame is actually done with crackle paint. That's a new technique that I've just been practicing. There you go, iris folding. Enjoy! And now, for my joke of the day. Why did a man in an orange juice factory lose their job? I don't know. Because they couldn't cut straight.